Hello and welcome, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be looking at this uh, V3 clone of the uh, Gristleizer. Um, it's a one-off PCB that I've printed. It's quite harsh sounding. Uh, we're going to give it a demo, so if you bear with me, we'll give it a bash. Okay, thanks for hanging on in there. I'm not saying that was uh, fully demonstrated the capabilities of the pedal where I didn't muck around with the depth knob. But anyway, uh, the pedal first appeared as a DIY project in Practical Electronics in the 70s and Endangered Audio have rebooted it in various models which are quite pricey. Now on my quest to uh, build a gristleizer, I bought this uh, kit or PCB from Fuzzdog in the UK. Now if you look at the two mini trimmers at the top, uh, they aren't on the uh, version 3 of the gristleizer um, and I really couldn't get this uh, kit to work. Um, every time I changed the waveform, the modulation, I uh, had to tweak these trimmers and this doesn't appear to be uncommon on uh, some DIY builds that I've seen on the forums. Anyway, I was quite determined to try and get a working model of this. Um, after a lot of searching, I had to go on uh, the Wayback Machine at the Internet Archive 
and retrieve the build PDF for the version 3. And this has a schematic in it. Well, it was going to be a first for me, but uh, I took this schematic and drew out a PCB uh, plan for it. Uh, it was the first one I did. Um, uh, remarkably, it, it, it works. Um, there's a picture of the PCB. Now, that may be of use to you if you want to take a screenshot of that, if you've printed out your PCBs before. And I've also done a parts uh, layout image here. And I'll just talk you through some of the key points. Now, on the outside, we anything labelled with a V is uh, volume. Uh, B will be the bias, D will be for depth, and R is for the rate. Now, the numbers on their own are around the edges of the PCB. They go to the uh, three-pole, four-way rotary switch. Uh, they're all numbered on the switch, and also we have... Uh, there should be A, B and C pads. They go to the three poles on the rotary switch. And I think, uh, looking at this, uh, lug 2 on the volume pot is audio out. Now I appreciate uh, it's quite ambitious to uh, build this board just from the images I've given you here, but nevertheless, there they are. OK, we're going to have a look at the PCB next. Uh, please use a max 1044 voltage converter. Uh, the 7660S versions that you can get have an audible whine. That's a BF256 transistor and two 2N3906 transistors. Please use these exact components. There's the rotary switch. Uh, the numbers are printed on the underside but they're not very discernible so get a marker pen and it'll be a lot easier to wire up there and you have the A, B and C tabs there at the bottom of the switch. The VCA and VCF switch just wire that up as you see it on the board match that with the way that you see it on the switch if that makes sense. Like I said, this is the first PCB that I home printed and it came out uh, quite well. Well, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching again. If you do have any questions, short of me uh, building it for you, then uh, please ask and I'll see you next time.